Hi guys, Lisa is here. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another Moscow vlog. I'm exploring downtown of Moscow today. I walked for a couple of kilometers already and I reached Kremlin. This place called Alexandrovsky Sar and I can see a lot of guards because Putin can be here. I will come back here later because I have another more exciting plan for today. I will go to famous Arbat Street and I'm going to show you a very nice Russian food restaurant. So amazing today! Wow, I remember this place used to be so different. This place called Metro Station Lenin Library. This place was without any flowers and trees. It was just a big Soviet looking building. This was my first impression about Moscow is that it's very cold, gray, boring and very Soviet looking. But now Moscow is so cool and so different. I really like how they do gardening here because they are using very natural looking and special flowers here. Finally, it's the beginning of Arbat Street. If I would compare Vladivostok and Moscow, I would say Vladivostok is 10 times smaller. And we have our own Arbat Street, but obviously Power is smaller and cuter. Alonka chocolate store. Don't you think, guys, that using this loyal baby face make it look very creepy? A very touristic place. So finally, I'm here. This is the place I'm going to go. So it's like food bar restaurant kind of thing you can grab here whatever you like for me it's like fancy canteen so let's try it guys i'm so 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 hungry Dessert stall is very cool looking and I know why it's first because when the person is very hungry he will grab anything that he sees first. Herring fish Greek salad Herring under the food court, guys. Everything is so good looking. This is soup station, and for soup, here is some Russian soup, okroshka. I really like this part, guys. This is tvorozhna zapikanka, it's like a cottage cheese dessert. Sirniki and baked apples. I don't know how they do it, but all food looks so, so amazing here. So far, this is my tray, this is a section with drinks and I'm ready to go to the cashier. My big Russian feast. I'm going to explain you guys what is this all about. So first one is a Kroshka soup, summer Russian soup. Second is Kamchatka salad. This is a French meat, piece of funny black bread, cottage cheese, Zepikanka with apple and a delicious pie. For a drink, I got a red currant drink. The design of this place is amazing, right? Just look around. And I am very suitable to this place today. So I'm going to start with a Kroshka soup. It's like summer borscht. I took this soup for educational reasons because usually I don't eat a kroshka and I don't know how to explain you guys but look it's like a summer veggie salad that you would 
transform into a soup by adding kvass drink. Let's try it. I'm scared. I know how it tastes, guys. Imagine you eating veggie salad and you drink Coca Cola just after you chew in your salad. This is exactly the same taste. I can't eat this, but I'm not a fan. <laughs> My God. Red currants? Currants? Current? I don't know. I'm confused with the name of this thing. So it's a berry drink, and we have those berries in our dacha. Let's try it. Mm, very nice. It's very delicious. We are moving next, and I'm trying Kamchatka salad. A lot of mayonnaise, and then corn and crab meat. Let's try. Mm. This is a very nice combination of flavors. My next dish is French meat. Mm. It's like a very soft baked meat with tomatoes and layer of sauce. This is so nice. This meat is my favorite so far. For dessert, I have two options, my zupikanka and my pie. I'm already full, so I'm going to try them both, but I'm going to take it out with me. Maybe it's going to be my breakfast tomorrow. What do you guys think? Would you visit this place? With today currency exchange rate, my whole meal cost $10. It is not that cheap as in average canteen, but still very affordable. like the street but I feel like the street wants to make profits out of you. On Nanjing Road in Shanghai, uh, random guys would come to tourists and sell watches, like very persistent. And here is like also a lot of promoters. They trying to sell you something or get you into their restaurant. Please buy watches, very cheap brand, fashion, Dior watches. So wow, I want to buy a beautiful magnet. Wow, a Turkey store. It's my tradition to buy a really small thing in each place where I travel, like a magnet, so I can remember each trip. There is Xi Jinping Matryoshka and Putin Matryoshka. <laughs> oh my god. How about this one? I like this one. I can get myself one and I can give uh, one to my relatives. Hello, Mr. C. Thank you for inviting me here. 
Thank you for being in my vlog. Guys, in the end of Arbat Street, here is Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Pretty epic, huge Soviet building. Politicians who are in charge of uh, foreign relationships are uh, sitting here. I'm not sure I, I am allowed to film here because they will think like, oh, you are a foreign agent. You're selling secrets to evil Americans. <laughs> they don't have a beautiful relationship with other countries, but the building of this ministry is amazing. I think this video is going to be long enough and I want to remind you guys, if you want to support my job, you can become my sponsor by subscribing here on my YouTube sponsorship program. Sponsorship will give you early access to my videos as well as other bonuses. If you don't want to subscribe to it, you just can send me super thank you hardship sticker. That's it for today guys. Let's finish this video here. And as always guys, thank you so much for staying with me until the end. And I will see you in my next Moscow vlog. Bye bye!